Welcome back, healthy learners. Let's go over area. Define a function f of x. Let's bring in a Gaussian, e to the negative x squared. We get a nice bell curve on that. That's all positive valued. And then let's go up and down, sine of x. Nice. And then the definite integral. Let's have a lower bound a and an upper bound b with our integrand f of x, differential dx. So Desmos knows what f is, but it doesn't know what a and b are. We turn those into sliders. Excellent. a and b are both set equal to 1, and so we're coming up with a definite integral evaluated at 0. No area carved out. OK, so we can move around our a and our b using the sliders, and we can get values output. What we want to do is we want to shade. All right. So let's start with shading above the x-axis. All right. Well, that's too much. So then let's shade everything above but below the above the x-axis but below the function f. All right. Good. And again, note that we're stopping here, and that's where sine dips down below. All right, well, we want to have it correspond with our definite integral. So we can say, put a restriction now on the x, and we do that with the curly braces. We want x to be taken between a and b. OK, good. And then we'll use the color gray. Let's bring down the opacity slightly. We can get rid of the lines. We'll keep it gray. And then we have a nice little picture for a positive shading. Let's bring in those points A and B. We do A comma 0. Label that up as the point A. Label that as A. Do the same thing for bringing in a point B. B comma 0. Label that point B. And then a nice thing is, let's make both of these blue. A nice thing is we can slide them. All right, so notice something curious here. When B is to the right, we get a shading. But when B is to the left, we don't get a shading. So let's remedy that. Now, we want to be above the x-axis, below our curve. And then we're trying to capture the case where the a and the b have swap places, so b less than x less than a. Now, you might remember, since a was, is our lower bound, b is our upper bound, that when we have the bounds swapped, we introduce a minus sign. So let's make this red. OK, good. So if b is to the left of a, then the definite integral, and note here that Desmos has evaluated out, approximated, that it's negative valued. But when b is to the right of a, that the definite integral is some positive value. Excellent. Well, what happens when we take a over here? Well, we're not getting any type of shading, and that's because there are no y's which are bigger than 0 but less than the function, like there are over here. So let's fix that. Let's take shadings that are have y's bigger than f but less than or equal 0. OK, good. Now, if we look at this purple shading, it's occurring below the x-axis. So that would naturally be negative valued. So let's shade in red. All right. And then it will be red if the x's are taken between a and b. Yet, on the other hand, let's copy all of this, copy and paste. Yet, on the other hand, if x is bigger than b, 
but less than a, then in that situation, we should have the area corresponding to be positive valued. And let's double check that. So let me clean this up a little. All right, and let's check that. Okay, so here A is to the left of B, and we have shading which is red. We look at our definite integral that it's negative. Right? Now swap the A and the B, so let's bring the A to the other side of B. We're still shading below the x-axis and above the curve, and we've coded it so that it shades positive, and indeed, we look at our definite integral and it's positive. Nice. So that is area, and I'll put this link into the description so you can play around with it and have fun. See you on the next one.